In this video, we'll look at a good way of adding figures to a Word document. So I've already copied the figure that I want to paste in into memory. I go here, I paste it. Uh, it displaces all of the text like we would expect. Uh, notice I can resize it by selecting the outside of it. Um, as you can imagine, so make it a reasonable size over here. May need to adjust the font sizes again afterwards. Which again, we can do that in Word here. So we can adjust the font size to a reasonable size. Adjust the axis font size also by selecting on the axes. Okay. Now as far as moving this around and putting a caption, so the first thing I'm going to do, right click, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to change the way we wrap text around it. Uh, this is available from right clicking. It's also available in the top up here under format. you can see how it's arranged. So the Arrange button brings uh, up wrap text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick top and bottom. And this means that no matter where I move this, it's going to move the text around it, top and bottom. Uh, there's other options. You can play around with it. Now, as far as adding the caption, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to add a text box, so draw a text box. So I'll draw a text box the same width as my figure over here. Figure one. This is a detailed caption. I'm sure you're going to have quite a bit to write about this caption. So add some details here. Notice we have to resize the text box. One thing we want to do is make sure that the caption font is smaller than the regular text font. So the regular text is size 11, so I'll make this maybe size 9. So now I'll resize my text box to be uh, just the size that I want. Select both the the text box and my figure, and now I'm going to go and I'm going to group them together. And what this means is that now I'm able to move the entire box around and all of the text and document moves with it. Again, I want to go here to arrange, set it as top and bottom, makes it so that the text won't show up on the sides. Ultimately, there's a few other neat formats that you can do for how to arrange it. Uh, another one that works kind of well is a square. And so imagine I can do that and move this all the way to one side. And so now the text wraps around my figure like that. There's a number of different things you can do and playing around with it is a nice idea. Grouping the text box and the figure means that wherever you move one, the other one moves as well.